Hi, I'm Sonia, and today I am going to be trying out some new products from Kosas. I am really excited about this. Um, so we're gonna do an unboxing. I'm gonna try this out, give you my first impression, and then we'll do a wear test and see how it all works. So let's get started. Okay, so let's open up this box. And I took a sneak peek, because I was so excited for this, and I've actually had it for a few weeks. And um, life has just gotten in the way, and I haven't been able to film this sooner. So really excited. Um, this is Kosas, and there's just been a lot of talk I've seen about some of the Kosas products. So Kosas is completely cruelty free but not all of their products are vegan so I went ahead and picked some of the products that are vegan and cruelty free that I could use um, so one of the things I got was this cute little bag and I think I got this as a free gift I have to be honest I ordered this so long ago I don't remember so it's this little like cute makeup bag and I really do love this and it's so cute I love that. Now the other thing is, is I did try to take a sneak peek, but they have this wrapped up so cute. I never was able to take a sneak peek, but it's completely wrapped up in paper. And the box says, recycled, biodegradable, compostable. So that's really cool. Oh, wow, well, I have a lot of stuff here that I didn't realize I got this much. Um, the first thing is I have one of their beauty blenders or one of their double ended makeup blender so I will go ahead and try this out when I use these products so I'll have to go run and get this wet uh, let's see what else is here okay so next we have a uh, skin improving foundation broad spectrum broad spectrum SPF 25 medium coverage natural dreamy finish oh <gasps> yay oh so that's really fun I love anything that has SPF I already put on my SPF but that this has extra SPF is never a bad thing and I got this in it's very light neutral 100 it's a neutral undertone all right let's see what else Thing. And this is all stuff I've just heard a lot of good things about and I had to try it. I've heard everybody talking about this. So, um, and then we have Kosas Cloud Set. Baked setting and smoothing powder. So I don't usually bake too much just because of my mature skin, but let's take this out. And I'm not trying all the products out yet because I'm gonna try them all on my face here shortly. So we're just looking at them. And this is what it looks like. Oh, wow trying to see how that will work. I usually pick if like I can pick the undertone. I usually either pick something that has like pink undertones or neutral undertones is what I usually go for. And next is this is the super creamy brightening concealer. Yay. And this is in shade 1.5 C light with pink undertones. So this is what the box looks like and this I've seen everybody using this concealer I cannot wait to try this I'm really excited to try this I'm really excited that looks so pretty <gasps> Yay. Okay, it's an exciting day I've been waiting for so long to use this all right and then the last thing I have here is wet plumping treatment gloss I'm not really sure why I chose to get this it says it's unhooked I guess that's the color but I did choose to get this. And like I said, I ordered this forever ago. When I first saw everybody talking about these products, I got them right away. I was so excited. And then life got in the way and I wasn't able to do this sooner. But it says, oh, it's lip oil. I'm having a hard time resisting not putting the lip oil on this second. Let's just put the lip oil on really fast. Okay. I'm like really into lip oils right now. And this feels really nice and it says it's lip plumping right wet plumping treatment gloss i don't know it feels really good so and i like the color it's kind of like just a nice neutral oops i'm not showing you like a nice neutral it's pretty okay so let me clean up my area here and we'll get started trying these products out. Okay, so I went ahead, did all my skincare, I put on my SPF, and I'll link below what I used for all of that. But then the other thing I did was I used a NYX Marshmallow Primer, I used that. I also used the NYX Pore Filler Primer, 
and I used the KVD Shake Primer on my eyelids. And then I was gonna really fast put on some of this e.l.f. primer, it's the Power Grip Primer. And just because I've been trying out different primers and we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna put some of this on, then I'm gonna go wet that sponge and then we'll get started with fun, so. All right, so I'm gonna take this sponge out of the bag and look, oh, it's kind of like a cool little shape. It's different. It's not completely rounded. It kind of has like a little point at the end. It's pretty. I don't know why I smelled it, but I'm gonna go get this wet, BRB. Okay, so this is how big it got when I got it wet. And I really do like the shape. I think that's interesting. I don't generally love um, sponges, but some foundations it works better with. So we'll see how it works. So usually I like to use a green concealer on like the red areas of my face, but we're using a new foundation and concealer. So let's just test it out and we won't do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the concealer first, like around my eyes, which is always like one of the biggest tests because I do have mature skin and we'll see how this works. I like to use a concealer as like underneath my eyeshadow. I do have some red marks on my face. So let's try to cover some of those red marks up. The color kind of seems dark, but we'll see how it goes. All right. No, I always end up using my finger more for concealer because I find like the warmth from my finger really like warms it up and helps it melt into your skin a little bit better. But we'll try this. And I don't tend to put a lot of concealer here right now. I do that after I put on my eye makeup. I don't want to put too much on my face. I have to tell you, I really like the way this is blending in. It's like nice and smooth. And it feels good on my skin. It actually looks really good. Wow. Okay, let me zoom in. I, I don't really see any like real creasing or anything yet, but we'll see how it does. Um, generally after I do around my eyes, I like to set that with powder right away and I don't use very much, I use barely any. I mean, I just like dab and then I brush off. So let's see. All right, let's go with the foundation now and I'm anxious to see if I did a good match with this. I'm just gonna put it on my little palette here. Oh, I like it because it's kind of thinner. And I like a thinner foundation. It works better with my uh, mature skin. Let's just see. I actually really like the color match. The color match is really good. I mean like, I barely had to do anything and that just like melted right into my skin. Like melted into my skin. Wow. Well, that's really great. Okay, so let's go ahead I'm just gonna put some around on my face in various places. I like using brushes better for my foundation, but we're gonna use the sponge since I got it. I might as well use it. Maybe I'll do a brush on this side and sponge on this side. really good what do you think I know you can't really tell totally but I think it looks really nice actually like trying to look in my mirror I have right here and I kind of like it I actually really like it I think okay I'm gonna use my brush oh I'm just gonna use my dirty brush I have some brushes set aside that I need to wash but I like this brush it's my Real Techniques stippling brush and I really like it, so I'm just gonna use it even though it's dirty. Don't judge me. Hmm. 
Okay. I'm gonna, I need to look straight at myself for a minute. I'll edit this out. Okay, so I really like it. I actually like the side with the sponge better. This side looks dewier and it's settling in a little bit more into some of my creases. Let me show you. You can see it here. It's kind of like, it's not bad, but you can see it's settling in. This side isn't doing that as much. I don't know if you can tell well. It's like much better on this side. It's still dewy, but it looks better. I feel like I'm out of focus. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, there, now I'm in better focus. You see, it's dewier, you can see the dewier, but I feel like it's settling into all my creases a lot here. And this side, I don't really feel like it's doing that as much. It, and it feels smoother. I kind of like the sponge better, which I don't usually like a sponge as much. But like the Good Apple Foundation, I like the sponge better with the Good Apple Foundation. Like some foundations, I just think a sponge works better. Maybe they're more drying, and so you add a sponge that adds some moisture, maybe that helps it. Hmm, it's interesting. I don't know. Like, I really think I like it. <laughs> I think I like it. I wish that this concealer was lighter. I'm not sure if there's a lighter color or not. Let me see. Okay, so the Revealer Concealer is $28 and the very lightest shade is 0.5 and I thought that's oh I got 1.5 <gasps> why did I do that I wish I would have gotten okay so there is lighter than this so I might have to buy the one that's even lighter because I think the one even lighter I would like better so I didn't go light enough wow so this is pretty light you can see this is pretty light so I think I was afraid that the other one was going to be too light. And this is like a perfect match for my skin, but I would have liked to be lighter around my eyes. So I think that I will probably have to buy the lighter one because I really do like this concealer. Like, I don't feel like I have any creasing around my eyes. I mean, I have mature skin, so I'm always going to have some. You have to be realistic. Like, you're going to have some. Okay, the setting powder is $34 and I got this in breezy so I got the second to lightest and I actually think this works fine I could have gone lighter for sure but this is pretty light for the foundation foundation the revealer skin improving foundation with SPF 25 it's $42 and I feel like I got the right shade on that yeah so I got the lightest shade possible on the foundation. Why I didn't get the lightest shade possible on the concealer and the powder, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't, but I think the powder's fine. Let's go ahead and set it all with the powder and see. Okay. So I think it's pretty good. In all honesty, I really like it. I actually, feel really pleased with this like really pleased really 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 pleased I like this a lot um, I definitely like it better than the Charlotte Tilbury foundation that I just did in concealer I definitely like it better than that but I really like that powder it's interesting I'm just analyzing it all I'm analyzing it all I'm gonna do this I am going to do the rest of my makeup and come back and show you a finished look and then I will do a wear test later on today so that way you can see how it all is oh and I should tell you how much the other things are so this uh, sponge is $14 and the wet lip oil gloss is $22 and this I do like I like this a lot. I thought it felt really good putting it on. It's really cute. I don't like how small it is, but I like it. And I love that cute little bag I got. Look, oh, we could put all of our stuff in here. Oh, look how cute. We have all of our cute little products in the bag. Isn't that fun? I do like this. I think this is cute. 
and if I can remember how I got this bag, what I got for free. I think I got the bag for free. I'm not sure how that all went, but this is really, really cute, and I do really like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup, and then I'll be right back. I'll show you how everything looks at the end, give you like my final thought with putting on my other makeup, and then I'll come back and I'll show you a wear test because I am gonna be out and about. Uh, I need to go grocery shopping. I need to go to Lowe's to look at plants and um, so I'll be wearing a mask so I'll come back and I'll show you how everything is later today. So I got all my makeup done and I actually really like how this foundation wears. I did some TikToks in between time and um, I've done a few things so I didn't come back right away and do this video right after my makeup was done and it's wearing and looking really nice. I really like it. Um, I do have to say I don't love the concealer. Not because it's a bad concealer but because I do have more mature skin and um, it is a thicker formula so when I tried to use it around my eyes I was really scared it was going to settle in the creases and it didn't do too bad but what I actually did was use more of the foundation around my eyes to clean up after I put on um, my eyeshadow and this is thinner it worked better around my eyes so I actually don't know if I'm going to get a lighter color in this because I don't know if I'm going to use this concealer a ton. I will definitely use this foundation again. I will definitely use the powder again. I liked the powder. I thought that was great. I will use the lip oil for sure. I don't know where I put it. It's somewhere around here. Where did I put that lip oil? I'm not sure. And I do like the sponge. Um, I like the shape of it. I honestly do like this sponge a lot. A lot more than a lot of others. Um, and it did work really well with the foundation. So I will use this again too. So I will do a little wear test on this and come back in a few hours and let you know how everything's looking. Um, so we will talk with you soon. Hey, I am back and it's been about eight hours since I first put on my makeup and I am really satisfied with this. I really think that this worked really, really great. I just was like analyzing my face and like really looking at it and I think everything looks really good but like it looks like it wore really well. I don't feel like, I don't know, it just looks really good to me. Like all of my makeup stayed on so well and I really think it's the foundation. I love this foundation. Um, I really, really do. I think this might be one of my very favorite foundations now. Like I said, the concealer is really thick. It's a good concealer, but I mainly use concealer around my eyes and, um, uh, this is just really thick to use around my eyes. I think the foundation works fine around my eyes. And so I don't think I'll be getting a lighter one of these. And I think the powder worked great. I wish I would have gotten a lighter color in it. But you know what? I got this and I think it'll be fine. And I'm not going to spend more money on another one. So I feel really satisfied. Overall, this was so good. I feel so great about the purchase. And I think that this definitely lives up to the hype of everything I've heard about it. So yay, this is a bonus. Make sure you keep watching because I'm going to have so many more fun videos coming up please give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. It helps me so much, especially since I'm so small. Um, please subscribe. Feel free to comment. I love comments and hit the notification bell so that way um, you'll know every time I post a new video. And thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!